Hello my crochet friends, welcome back. Here we are working on our bike basket and we've completed rows 1 through 24. I am starting row 25 now and I started with chaining 34 stitches. So we're going to start working on the straps now. So we've chained 34 stitches and our pattern says in the eighth stitch from the hook, so we're gonna count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna enter that stitch, okay? And we are going to do a single crochet. Okay, so there we've made our buttonhole. This is gonna be the buttonhole to hold our bike basket onto our bike. So we've made one single crochet there, and we're gonna do a single crochet in each remaining chain all the way down to the top of the bike basket. So you're gonna enter each chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through in a single crochet. Just like that, all the way down. Here we go. Okay, we're almost at the bottom here. This is my last single crochet in the chain. And now we're going to go on to our work here and we're going to single crochet across 20 stitches. Okay, and then we're going to make our other strap. So go across, oops, 20. Okay, that's 20, and now, let's add a little knot here, let me fix this. Now from here, we're going to make our next strap, and the next strap is going to be 34, just like the other, 34 chains going up, and then we're going to single crochet in the eighth chain from the hook. So here we go with 34 chains going up. And this is 34. Okay, so we have we've chained 34, and now the eighth chain from the top from your hook, you're going to enter it and you're going to start with your single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right here, I'm going to enter there, I'm going to give it a single crochet. Now we have our buttonhole, right? And we're going to single crochet all the way down our chain, just like we did before, until we get to the top of the basket. Okay, here goes our single crochets.
right, I'm back at the top. Hopefully you are too. Now we're going to continue to single crochet all the way around until we get to the next strap, okay? So we're going to start with this first stitch here. And we're gonna give it a single crochet. And we're gonna single crochet all the way along the top. Very straightforward, easy to do. I think you definitely could make this basket different sizes. You could um, use a chunkier yarn, it might come out bigger, um, or a bigger hook if you want a bigger basket. I'm excited about the size of this one. I think it's gonna be just right for me, for what I wanted it for. Um, but yeah, y'all just do, do your thing. You can adjust it. That's the joy of these patterns is that you can experiment and you can make things bigger or smaller um, to fit your needs. And um, you could actually have used different colored yarns, different textured yarns. Um, you can also embellish it too. The flowers we had made for the baby hat, you could make flowers like that to go on the basket, which I think would be really cute. Had I not used um, a variegated like this, I think I would have done that, because um, I think the flowers are cute. Um, especially if it were a kid's basket. Um, I think, I remember when I was a kid, they had those white plastic baskets for your bicycle and they had the big plastic flowers on the front of them. Um, I think that would be cute to put flowers on it. Um, but yeah, I think, I think you definitely could just really do whatever you like um, to embellish it. And when you put your buttons on, I think the buttons, whatever you use for your buttons, can be creative too. So um, there's a lot of leeway with this project to make it unique and um, your own piece of art. So let's continue single crocheting until we get to that strap. Here I am at the strap. Now, once you get to the strap, I know it's kind of thin and curly, um, but we're gonna have to try to do our best here. We are going to single crochet along the edge of the whole thing. Um, so we want to, I'm trying to hold it still here, but we want to go up the edge, single crocheting, just like this and then come down the other side, okay? So this is gonna make your strap wider um, and, and stronger. So if you have something a little bit heavy in your basket, um, this will give it a little more strength, okay? So keep going up the side here and then down the other side um, and crocheting all the way around. I, I think this, I think it'll make the strap look more substantial too. I think with it like this, with the one layer, it's, just doesn't look like much and and it curls up I mean we don't want it curly like that so here we go let's go up the one side and then down the other
Okay, I'm at the bottom again, so I'm at the basket. So we're going to continue along here on the basket to the next strap. So single crochet all the way along here, just like this all the way until we get to that strap and you're going to do the same thing on the other strap so it'll be nice and thick like this one okay so keep going along with your single crochets going along the strap and then we're going to stop there okay so here we go Okay, here we go. We're going to start this strap here. We're going to go up one side and down the other, just like we did with the other one. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are. We are at the top and I'm going to enter here and join with a slip stitch, right? Pull it through just like that. And we're going to knot this off because we are done with this part. And then we're going to get our buttons. Okay, so I'm going to knot this off here. We'll thread all that in. And up next, we're gonna do buttons. Okay, let's get these buttons on. At the base of your strap, I used my yarn, I'm gonna use my yarn here to put on my button. Um, and you're just going to sew it on. You're just gonna sew it on just like you're doing a, a regular button. Um, and I knotted it in the back. So I did go through twice just in case um, there's a little weight. Um, you just don't want your buttons ripping too easily so let's go through the buttonhole twice um, if you're using regular um, thread maybe you want to do it more than twice okay just so that you get that stability on there um, stronger is always better <laughs> right so here we go I've got it on there and as you can see with the other one I just knotted it and I'm going to tuck my tails in afterwards so let's get this on here We'll go through with our darning needle and we'll tuck in all our tails. So you have your buttonhole, right? From where you um, skip those eight chain. So make sure that your button fits. And there we have it. I'm gonna tuck in all these strings. This will fit around your bike basket handle. I mean your bicycle handle for your bike basket. Um, and yeah, 
should be pretty straightforward. Machine washable. Um, I think this was a great project. So I hope you enjoyed it too. I think it's gonna be fun um, on my bike and I hope you have a fun one for your bike too or maybe you've made it for somebody else. So it was great pleasure having you on this project with us and we hope that it brings you lots of joy and that you have a great time. Enjoy your bike basket.